Hello guys, welcome along to my shed today. I uh, I have this piece of ice on the lathe here and it's uh, four and a quarter inches uh, by four and a quarter inches uh, it's about two inches, I think it's an inch or so I just can't grab my ruler here I, uh, I keep leaving things over the other side of the, the shed uh, it's an inch and three quarters thick. Now, with this piece, I haven't decided what I'm going to make. First of all, I want to get it into the round. So, I'll just bring a camera around and... Uh, let you see where I am. So, we have... Our blank, uh, piece of ice, uh, four inches by four inches by inch and three quarters. So we need to put uh, a tannin on it for it to go into the chuck, and um, we need to round this over. So we can take that out of that. Uh, I can remove that step center from the chuck. And just bring out your tail stock to line up the center hole that's it lined up and then tighten your chuck and that should be in line no problem so what about I want to do with this Paul uh, I don't know I have a few ideas in my mind. Uh, I was looking on uh, the internet there for a bit of inspiration, and the piece I come across it's it was it was deeper than that. So uh, I might add a couple of pieces of timber to this uh, once I've got my shape. So the shape of this is going to be like a donut shape. So, uh, The way I envision this is it's going to have a bit of wood added to the bottom and it's going to curve, curve out and this is going to have a like a shaped lid onto it and I'm going to hollow this out 
So, most important tool, I'm just going to mark roughly where I want the hole. I can always make this, this bigger later on. Just a wee bit high on it. We want to bought a wee while ago and put knack on it. So we'll give it a we'll give it a blast. Uh, carbide tends to want to pull it, the tool over. here. This is an R we want to use quite often. Stop having a look at this because remember this is curved so you don't want to end up going through the side of this. So, turn the speed down. We don't want to end up losing a digit. I think so. When it grabs it. What you can do, I have a couple of sticks somewhere. Well, I had a couple of sticks somewhere with uh, Velcro on it. For just that purpose. And it's like everything. When you go to find them, you can't, you can't find them. Uh, let's see if we can hold on to that. Welcome back, uh, guys. I this uh, we project that started yesterday. And I uh, was halfway through it. Um, I had to wait for the two pieces to glue together. So uh, today I'm out in the shed and I'm going to finish this wee piece. So we have this wee block of oak to add to this piece. I'm just going to bring a camera down so that you can see where we are. This is the wee piece we're talking about. So I'm going to turn that and it's going to be thief, thief uh, winged. Uh, but first of all, I need to, to finish this. And uh, 
finished sanding this and uh, cut this foot down a wee bit, it's too big and then we can uh, concentrate on uh, the cube uh, had a wee accident there on, on the saw <laughs> uh, I wasn't holding the, the block when I was cutting it there uh, tied it off and it jammed up in the, the blade and and cut me in the hand, you know. Oh, feel sorry for me. Go on. <laughs> Annie, it's only a wee scratch. Could have been much worse. Right, that's the sanding done. Well, we will look at this and... Uh, Apply a wee taste of sand sealer to it. We taste the Yorkshire grit. And we taste the wax. Okay, I think that'll do that for now. We can finish the foot off when we get the, the lid to fit it to it. Uh, as you can see, it's Came out quite nice that. Please. So, and all we'll do is center that. We'll just make sure it's seated all on the three sides are in there. And what you have to look out for is. If it's running off to one side, which this one is, let's see if we can get a bit more. Surface to. And it's nice and tight. Turn your speed down and give it a wee whirl. I just stand the side a wee minute to make sure it's seated well into the t and I don't have any problems with it. So. All I'm working on is getting this round to get it in the chuck and that's almost there and just taking those shakes out as well. Right that looks fairly good. <laughs> Just going to engage the tailstock just to get a wee bit of this timber removed. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to turn it around again. So, put an our uh, chucking or uh, tannin on this side and then turn it around because these are the three points we are going to be using for our piece. I've turned those two away or three away, uh, so I need to reverse it to get those nice uh, crisp points. Okay, so
And at this stage, your points should be coming to gear fairly close to it. There's a wee bit of a discrepancy in this one, but uh, you could sand that wee bit out and you wouldn't know. Uh, just take an hour we cut off it. And a lot easier and just pops off right um, I just need a wee crisper line here or the two intersect Right, that's that. We'll finish the foot off of this later. We'll have to take that wee bit off. Just want to see where we are, so it needs to be more bit out of this. But uh, I'm not going to turn it too thin because turn the speed up. You want to try and keep your cut constant while, while you're uh, going down into this. Right, that's not bad. You can see your uniform off your your edge. Uh, it's not bad. It could be better, but... Uh, Just the wax all over. Right, that's that bit. I 
we'll get this down to a cylinder. get it and that seems to be all right it's not too tight and it's not it's grabbing so I'm more than happy with that right so this is where we need to make the transition from the bottom the top and I'm, I'm just going to leave it in that orientation for the nye uh, I'm going to use my spindle gouge and we we'll want to take some timber away There's a good chance this will break before I get it finished. Do a wee bit of sand in there because I'm not going to be able to get back to it once I get one further. Really, this should be in the chuck and you should be working from the point down to the bottom. But I've done it the other way. You can see it from moving when I'm sanding it here. I'm trying to not put too much pressure on it.
that there would be need to be a wee bit thinner, but I can't do that because of the the way I've loaded it into the the leaves. It's in the wrong way round. Now comes the hard bit. I'm not going to get more on this. And the answer to that is no. Right, I may be able to salvage it. And I'm going to have to go around to the R8 and finish that wee bit off. That's what happens when you don't put things in the lathe the right way around. I should have started here and worked back. Uh, that's my own fault, so nobody to blame on myself. So I'm going to see if I can get this in the R chuck and finish that. So I'll uh, I'll be back with Right, that's that finished. <laughs> so that's that bit. Right, I managed to get the camera turned around so that you can see where I am. I'm just going to take this wee foot off. Okay, that's that. I went off with that. Okay, that's that. Uh, I'll change camera. Uh, right, we're back right. right.
Okay. I don't know if this works or not. Uh, it was just an idea I had. It's something you don't see every day, but uh, it was a good wee project to do, and I don't think it works very well at the top. Uh, this bit, I think, uh, if you take that off and put a finial in it, it would be better. So I might do that uh, later on in the week and uh, make something uh, to coincide with that. You know, that's, that's a wee bit of turning on its own. So uh, more or less showed you how to do that. And you can make that any size you want, as long as it's a cube. But that was the, the project I was working on, and uh, I got sort of, sort of works all right. It's all right. Just not from the normal uh, sort of turning uh, bowls and stuff, you know, uh, some different, some uh, play around with your imagination and see what works and what doesn't. But that in its own will work with a different foot on it and that will work with the finial uh, in it. Uh, so it's not a, a complete loss. Uh, two pieces of weed, the timber, uh, oak and elm. Or no, it's not elm, it's uh, ice, sorry. So uh, that's more or less it guys, I have no more for you today and uh, I'm just going to tidy up and go in and sit for the rest of the afternoon and, and we watch a wee bit of TV. So thanks for watching guys, all the best, bye.